We have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. Well, that's it. The final debate of 2016 is over. And everyone's talking about the same things we've heard time and again. Donald thinks belittling women makes him bigger. Why don't you give back the money that you've taken from certain countries that treat certain groups of people so horribly? And Trump supposedly threatening the very fabric of our democracy. The loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. And then in the last 10 minutes of the final debate of the presidential contest, we finally talked about a little thing called the debt. But the nonpartisan committee for a responsible federal budget says, Secretary Clinton, under your plan, debt would rise to 86 percent of GDP over the next 10 years. Mr. Trump, under your plan, they say it would rise to 105 percent of GDP over the next 10 years. Trump wants to cut taxes and raise spending while denying that it would explode our debt. I say they're wrong because I'm going to create tremendous jobs. And Clinton wants to raise spending and raise taxes while denying that would have any effect on job growth. We are going where the money is. We are going to ask the wealthy and corporations to pay their fair share. And there is no evidence whatsoever that that will slow down or diminish our growth. In fact, I think just the opposite. Most economists accept that high thresholds of government debt correlates with low economic growth. But you didn't get to hear that perspective in the debates brought to you by our wonderful two-party system. This debate is sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. So while everyone's talking about rigged elections, leaked emails, and puppets... The no puppets, no puppets. It's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pretty Remember that both candidates will run up the debt, oppose free trade, deport more immigrants, and likely mire us in endless Middle Eastern conflicts. Happy voting!